bringing people together through music. That is the goal of Corky Siegel and his chamber blues who performed at the HLS H. Lafferty Stout Community College recently for what he called an educational presentation on the various genres of music. Walter Barrett has this report on the pre-show event which was attended by some students and also an exclusive interview with Corky Siegel when he stated his view on how music naturally brings people together. Several students converged at the Eileen Parsons Auditorium last month for a special event that was part of the activities planned for the college's 2012 Performing Arts Series. Visiting the college was Corky Siegel and his chamber blues, which combines blues and classical music into one sound. According to Seagull, the event at the college was an educational presentation, and as he spoke with JTV News, he talked about why he believes it is important to learn to appreciate all types of music while respecting other people's preferences, as music is a tool that unites us all. We tend to really think that you know there's jazz and classical and all these different kinds of music, and we tend to favor one over another. But what we forget sometimes is that every single kind of music there is is somebody's favorite, and if we're kinder about the different genres of music, it helps actually do what music does naturally, which is bring people together. And that was sort of the message. Siegel also spoke about what his music is all about. It, all this music was not a blend of classical and blues, but a juxtaposition so that you hear the blues and you hear the classical at the same time working together, but each of them maintain their personalities. Where in a blend, blues and classical become jazz or some, something else. So this maintains the blues and the classical, and that's what chamber blues compositions are about. During the presentation to the students, Siegel spoke of the way silence and sound can be put together to convey messages, which he said is the key to all types of music. Listen to the sound. Hey everybody, I got a great idea. Let's go get some ice cream. Okay, now that got a particular reaction. Now what if we add silence and space into some of the words? Notice how the message is carried across even stronger with silence. Hey everybody, I got a great idea. Let's go get some ice cream. So you can see how the message was much stronger. And music is the same way. Music is both sound and silence. And now listen right now to the power of silence. Now listen to the power of sound and silence and all its dimensions and all its colors. Siegel told the gathering that in terms of our love for music, it is the musical elements that grab us and not necessarily the type of music itself. So for instance, when we say we love jazz, classical, rap, reggae, it's really the musical elements 
not so much the kind of music that is really grabbing us and holding our attention and carrying us away. And it's what makes music so special. So for instance, when we say we love ice cream, what are we talking about? Not the flavor, but what is it about ice cream that we love so much? Go ahead, you can just yell it out. It's cold. It's cold. It's sweet. It's sweet. And another thing, go ahead, let's hear what, what is it about? What kind of Fine, delicious. Taste. And that's what, what we love about ice cream. So when someone says to me, Corky, you want to go get some ice cream? I don't ask what flavor, I just say yes. According to Lynette Barr, coordinator for the Performing Arts Series at the college, the purpose of the event was to expose students to what lies beyond the BVI and to give them a better appreciation of all genres of music. We believe that it's important to expose our young people here in the BBI to the performing arts, not necessarily for everybody to become a musician, but for everyone to become well-rounded adults and be exposed to the world that's beyond our shores. As the college continues to promote the performing arts, come March 24th, persons will be able to come out and hear the music of Diana King, known for her songs Shy Guy, Say a Little Prayer, and more. According to the event coordinators, it is important to expose our youth to more than just one type of music because our understanding and appreciation for music results in our understanding and appreciation of each other. Reporting for JTV News, this is Walter Barrett.